Okay, welcome to my After Effects animation um, quick tutorial. And um, today I'm going to show you, okay, I have a cutout puppet here. And basically what I have here is a control where, um, watch the uh, hand to the left, when I click the box, it changes hands. So all I need to do while I'm animating is uh, click that box and it will um, switch back from one hand to another. Um, this lady here is, uh, you can see that she's uh, holding a glass. So, uh, you can see here's the glass here. At one point she's going to drop the glass and it's at that point that I want to um, just change her hand position there. <clears throat> so here's the way I have it set up. I have uh, one composition basically has the entire lady puppet here. And um, you know, you can see, you know, so basically from from this one, you know, I can, you know, there's her arm here, change her around, you know, this is, oops, just, uh, you know, there she is. Um, but, um, so, um, I need to do, and then, and then what I did is I did, um, a couple of, um, pre-comps. So, um, it's an embedded composition. You can see here's this composition here, but then, uh, like here's an embedded composition for the lady's head. And it's just another composition. Uh, if you go into this composition, you can see that it's made up of two images. You know, here's one, she has one head and another. And I did the same for the hand here. So, you know, um, it's got uh, these two hands. Um, and uh, so I'm going to show you how to do the checkbox control for the lady's head. Now, <clears throat> the control is uh, on a layer, what I did is I went into the main composition and I right clicked and I chose new null object. And when the null object then popped up the null object, I changed the name of it to controls. A null object is something that won't show up in the final animation. Today I'm using the null object to um, as to create an easy access control panel. So here's the null. Once I had the null object, I went to effects and I went down to expression controls, and I chose um, I chose uh, checkbox control. So with the null object selected, and I changed the name of the null object to controls, you go up to effect and you go to expression controls and checkbox control and it'll appear in the effect control panel. A new checkbox appears just like the one for the left hand. Uh, right now the, this uh, checkbox isn't hooked up to anything. But uh, then I hit enter to change the name and I'll go ahead and just um, uh, write the word uh, head so that I know this checkbox here is meant to control the lady's head that is to switch from one head to another and as you can see right now it isn't it doesn't do anything it's just a control box that doesn't do anything but now um, now in the main composition I have an embedded composition the lady's head and um, if I go to that composition um, here, here's the the uh, the lady's head. 
you can see it has uh, two images in it. So um, I'll go to head one and um, head one is the one that it starts out with. So it's the one that I want to have visible when the checkbox is unchecked. So I, I, I select head one, I hit T, that's for opacity, so you can see the opacity control comes up, and uh, I'm going to make an expression. So on the little uh, stopwatch here, I, I, I hit the Alt key and left, kick, left click on the um, stopwatch and it, it starts a, um, an expression. Now the control panel up here you can see has the controls that are applied to the null object in the main composition. Now when you're in the head composition if you're having trouble getting to the um, control panel for the null object in the lady composition you can always go here and say new control viewer and then uh, select the um, controls for the null object in the main composition but I'm already